If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. On the air at WNST. All right, so I want to talk about today about the Baltimore Ravens. Obviously, the Ravens are one of 12 or 14 teams, as Peter King said, on WNST just a couple days ago that could really contend for the Super Bowl, and especially in a very weak AFC. Yes, the Steelers are going to be very good, and the Bengals, Terrell Owens, Chad Ochocinco will be good as well. But if you look at the conference as a whole, there are only four or five or six teams that can really contend. The issue, obviously, for the Ravens is the secondary, specifically the cornerback position. Fabian Washington struggled all mightily in 2009, tore his ACL, and obviously last year he played terribly with two healthy knees. Now with one healthy knee in 2010, there are a lot of questions surrounding the former first-round pick. Our second cornerback currently on the jet chart is Chris Carr. Chris Carr is really a career return man picked up from Tennessee last season. I'm not sure if he can really handle a load in 2010. The third cornerback on the depth chart right now is really the most intriguing, Lardarius Webb. Obviously, he played so well his rookie year in 2009, a torn ACL as well. We'll see how he rebounds. He's supposed to be taken off the physically unable to perform list tomorrow. But here's really what I want to get into. I think right now those three cornerbacks who are going to start are not going to get the job done for the Baltimore Ravens, and here's what we need to do. Okay, there have been a lot of rumors surrounding two cornerbacks for the Denver Broncos, Andre Goodman and Champ Bailey who the Ravens could possibly trade for. If you look at the Broncos roster right now, they're really thin at linebacker, which is a position where the Ravens have a ton of depth. Obviously, Ray Lewis is going to play the Mike linebacker. He's played that position you know, throughout his time in Baltimore. But who's going to play the Sam linebacker, which is the other inside linebacker? Jameel McLean started the preseason opener, but he struggled. You have Tavares Gooden there. You have, you know, you have Prescott Burgess there. You have a lot of people that can fill that position. So. In my opinion, if you were to trade a draft pick and one of those linebackers, you know, because they're really interchangeable, those, those three guys of, you know, Jameel McLean, Tavares Gooden, Burgess, and I should add Danelle Ellerby because he was so big last year. One of those four guys and a draft pick for Champ Bailey, I mean, why wouldn't you do that? That's a legitimate number one cornerback that brings us the first, you know, top tier cornerback since the days of Chris McAllister when he was very, very good for this franchise. Obviously, you know, Champ Bailey is 32 years old. He's not what he used to be. He used to be the best cornerback in football, bar none. That's Darrell Revis right now. But Champ Bailey still for this football team. That could be a huge, huge addition. Uh, you know, Andre Goodman is no slouch himself. I don't think we give up as much value for Goodman. Goodman's a little bit younger, but he's not as consistent. You know, maybe a third-round pick and, you know, Danell Ellerby. You know, that, that probably makes sense. If those two guys don't have enough value for you, um, you know, you could look at the New York Jets. Obviously, there's a lot of tension between the Jets and the Ravens. You know, Rex Ryan going there, Jim Leonard going there, Marcus Douglas going there, Bart Scott. But if you look at it, Darrell Revis makes perfect sense for this football team. We send them a first-round pick because, obviously, Darrell Revis would act as your first-round pick. And you'd be crazy to tell me that Darrell Revis wouldn't be better than any first-round pick that the Ravens could get. I mean, Darrell Revis is the best cornerback in football. Might be the best defensive player in all of football. Just ask Rex Ryan. Just ask Rex Ryan, his coach. Rex Ryan last year lobbied for Darrell Revis for months to be the defensive player of the year. But that being said, here's what the Ravens should do. And I'm just asking this. I'm putting this out to the viewers. If you would do this, you trade a first-round pick to the New York Jets, and obviously the Jets are thin at the offensive line position. I know the Ravens, at least at the tackles, are very thin. Jared Gaither, O'Neal Cousins, you know, a lot of people like that are are injured right now. But a big hole on the New York Jets offensive line is the left guard position. Alan Fanica, of course, leaves, and you know there's a lot of questions in New York surrounding that position. The Ravens, of course, have Ben Grubbs, who's one of the most underrated left guards in all of football. So I'm just, I think it makes perfect sense you trade Ben Grubbs and possibly a first round pick for Darrell Revis. Yes, then, you know, Brian Madison, prop, son of a defensive coordinator, Greg Madison, moves in to the left guard position. Yes, you take a bit of a hit there because Ben Grubbs has been so good for this football team. But then you add Darrell Revis to the mix and suddenly the cornerbacks, you know, as a whole, they get so much better. It goes from, you know, three mediocre guys to one headline guy, one shutdown guy. That takes away, you know, Heinz Ward when we play the Steelers. That takes away Terrell Owens or Chad Ochocinco when we play the Bengals. Mohamed Massaqua when we play the Cleveland Browns. I think it just makes perfect sense for this football team. You know, cornerback is the big is the big need right now. Obviously, safety is a bit of a question mark as well. Ed Reed coming off hip surgery, is he, is he going to be 100%? Tom Zibikowski's looked very good in training camp and in preseason. 
I don't know. I think he's probably more of a career third, uh, you know, third safety behind Dewan Landry. And I think Ed Reed is getting better very quickly. I don't think that's the need. I think if we go after Jarrell Rivas, but more likely Champ Bailey. That's a big pickup for this football team. You know, obviously Ozzie Newsome did you know didn't take Kyle Wilson, who is from Boise State, who's now with the New York Jets in the first round. Cornerback is obviously the big need. Yes, a lot of people are on the mend, but we need another guy to supplement this group to really, you know, elevate the Ravens to legitimate Super Bowl status because offensively, we're definitely there. You know, Dante Stallworth, Anquan Bolden, and the group of running backs there. That's all the time we have right now. Thank you so much for listen listening to me. I'm Daniel Radoff. Thank you. There he goes, Dan Radoff. Good job today uh, here on the Baltimore Sports Media Idol. Uh, you need some water? You all right, dude? I'm fine, thank you. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.